So what happens if you've got your GDC and you've got a lovely graph here and you want to find very specific output values rather than something um, like a critical value? Uh, just as a reminder, if I go to menu and I go to number five, which is trace, I can do a graph trace, that's number one, and I get a little crosshairs here and I can use the arrows and it will snap, that means lock onto critical points, like a maximum, one comma four. And if I keep on going down here, it'll snap to the y-intercept, 0, 1, and snap to an x-intercept. Remember that this bit here simply means basically 0. It means move the decimal. The negative 12 means move the decimal point back 12 times. It just doesn't give an accurate 0, that's all. And I can scroll all the way down to the other side, and I can snap to the other x-intercept, which is 2.15. So that's all perfectly fine. Uh, but what happens if I'm looking for, say, the value of 0.5? What is the y value when x equals 0.5? Then I can trace to 0.5 on the x here, and I get 3.25. But what about 0.6? There I go there. What about 0.55? There I go there. What about 0.56? Uh-oh, I can't do it. Now, technically, I could go to the menu button and click on analyze graph and I could then, sorry, go to trace and then go to trace step and say, well, I want it to be in steps of 0.01. So now it would be a lot smaller jumps, 0 0.56, 0 0.57, 0 0.58, so that's fine. But what happens if I want to find out what the x value is when y equals, I don't know, 5? Well, I can keep on, well, 5 is probably dodgy, but what happens if I want to choose... 3.2. Well, eventually I could get there perhaps. Keep going down. Oops, hang on. 3.19 is 1.52. 3.22 is 1.51. So I've missed it. I guess I could go back and make the step size even smaller and keep going until I find it, but it seems like a long way to go just to find out um, a couple of specific values. So while tracing the graph is really good for the critical values, it's not that good for finding other specific values. But this is where the GDC actually is in some ways um, much more powerful than a, um, say, Desmos or something like this, because what I can do is I can go Control plus page or Control doc, and that's the plus page there, and I can add a calculator knowing that these two pages are linked. As you can see here, the graph that I've created is um, f1 of x equals negative 3 times x minus 1 all squared. And if I go to control G, you'll see that in the, in the list of functions. So I've got f1 of x here. Well, what people might not realize is that I can actually use that function that I've created inside a, the calculator part of this document as well. So if I go f of, oops, if I go f1 to start with, it goes from that italics to bold, which means that it's expect it's a function that's already been defined. Then I can go F1 of, let's say, 5 and close the bracket, press Enter, and it will give me the precise value of F1 of 5. Or I can go, uh, I'll just do it using my keyboard on my computer now, it's a bit fast, F1 of 2.1. I get it as a fraction, 37 over 100, or Control equals will give me it as a decimal, 0.37. And so I can just um, evaluate what the y value is by putting in the x coordinate here. But I can also use solve, which is under the um, menu button as well, under menu, then number, then, sorry, that menu, then algebra, then solve. Or I can type it in, whatever's easiest. So solve, and I can go f1 of x, like so, equals and then I can put the y value in. So if I was interested at knowing what the x value is at 3.8 for y, then I can go solve f1 of x equals 3.8 comma x, close the bracket. So rather than the big long expression, just f1 of x um, and then press return and I get the solutions for x. Um, again, this is in exact form, which is not always um, particularly useful. So I'll go control enter again. And I've got equals 0.7418 or x equals 1.25. So now that we've got our two particular values, um, 
I can go back to the graph, for example, and know that that particular value is 0.75 is about there and about there. So I've got a, um, a, a there and there. So I've got, I can see it on the graph roughly, but then I've got the very specific values over here. So I hope that um, helps in using your GDC to find out very specific values.